Hello, this is Eric of Sparky Tech, and today I'm reviewing the LTC 3-pack interconnected fan system with mirror finish. Now, when it comes down to this, this is only about $40 USD, and this is not a hub. It connects to here. It uses simple connections. We don't have to worry about USB 2.0 to the motherboard, unlike these Corsair QX fans, unlike the SWA fans from Thelma Wright I reviewed on this channel, unlike the Lee and Lee SL120 Unifan, we don't have a hub. These annoying things that requires an external power source. In fact, every single one I reviewed so far does other than... So how do you power this? You power it through your fan header on your motherboard and it connects to ARGB and this connects to the fans. Just so simple, I love it. Though I have not used these yet, so I don't know what the experience is gonna be. Full disclosure, this was sent to me for review and I am thankful because I would love to see more of these simple designs and that is what makes me excited about these. Now let's get started. Sparky Tech and Review. Yeah. Before we get started this review, let's talk about compatible motherboard software. This is compatible with MSI Mystic Light, Asus Aura Zinc, RGB Fusion 2.0 from Gigabyte, and ASRock Polychrome RGB. The fan I'm reviewing here today comes in black as well as white for color options. And we can see a nice shiny mirror finish. Just to give you an idea how shiny that is. Let's get up close here and personal. And on the sides, we also have another mirror finish. Let's remove that. Beautiful. For connection to your PC, this is what connects to the top of the fans. We can see a little circuit board right in here and these notches that connect to the fan itself. When looking here, we can see that circuit board where we attach your fans on the other side. We also have the same idea to interconnect, but in this case, there are holes on the top rather than notches that stick out. This allows us to interconnect, and when you interconnect them, you're going to be facing shiny side or pitcher side to the same direction. We can see right here the interconnect and then slide into place. Now, when we do this, with the plastic removed, we are gonna get fingerprints. Luckily, we can clean that nice and simple. And let's take the next one. This is how simple it is. Shiny side up with the shiny side up. And again, put it together, slide it, done. That's how easy. You don't get any easier than that, trust me. This is so simple for interconnection, it's ridiculous. The circuit board, two pins is this side, so we're gonna connect it that way, and there are notches and openings on their side. So we're gonna take that, the wide side, in, and then slide it over. That's how simple it is to connect it. This is now connected. Now we just have to connect to the PC. This one's gonna to connect to your motherboard right here, and the pins are gonna interconnect if you're gonna connect more fans. However, I'd recommend using multiple headers on your motherboard because each header for your fan has only a certain amount of power throughput unless you were to get a separate power adapter. In my case, I have three fan headers, which means I know I'd be safe to connect nine of these fans, at least in my particular situation, without any extra hardware. Make sure your motherboard has the proper specifications for this pin out. In the case of MSI, they have BIOS software, including Mystic Lite for control of this particular system. This is for interconnection of more fans, so we can interconnect more RGB, ARGB that is to be exact. Now I'm ready to take off the side of my case and the front of this particular case. This is the Corsair 2000D computer case. And there's a side, I'm going to have to use that to remove these fans at the front because that's where I'm going to be placing it. And here we see a bunch of Lightwings fans here and here. However, I ripped off the RGB off of these ones because it was such a cable mess. Now this is simplistic. I love this. We don't have three different fan headers compared to this three different fan headers. We don't have three different RGB connections like three fans having three RGB connection points. I only have two installed, mind you, but either way, cleaner. Time to remove these and get these other ones installed. This showing 
or I can have this showing without the little pattern on the outside. These fans I don't think are flippable. Nope, I don't think so. Now the first thing I'm going to do with these fans now that I got the power connected, because RGB is for the back, I can do that later, I'm going to put the screws in. Included are two different screw types, multiple bags, three of each, and I'm going to use these ones for connecting between the case and the fan, and these long screws would probably most likely be used for a radiator to go through the fans into the rad. Now for this particular case, the I.O. shield of the motherboard really doesn't allow much room for fans, but uh, that's going to work. You're going to see that I mangled a few holes. That's because the other fans are reviewed that the actual headers got in the way. This one does not get in the way of my case. I love it. It's more compatible. Now I have my fans connected. Moment of truth, I'll set my fan speeds and everything else and turn on the ARGB. Right now I'm on DC mode and I'm running at about 880 RPM down to about 869 RPM. We can see this one's definitely slowest. It's not going as slow as it's showing on camera. This is the shutter speed affecting this. It's still turning. Now, if I go to PWM and I set the speed lowest possible, at least on my particular motherboard, we're going to let it slow down again to about the same speed. Right now it's ramped up. I'm setting my fan curve. We're down to 855 RPM. We notice that these look pretty even, so PWM mode is the best way it seems to run this. Now, if I did want to slow this down, I could use something like a fan speed control or something like that, but this is what it is. Right now, we can see these fans are all lit up RGB-wise, but the fans aren't turning. That's because they're disconnected right now. I have right here, and I have a low power or low noise adapter right here to reduce the RPM and see if it still works at lower RPM. Not sure we can see that or not, but we are down to 605-ish RPM, up to about 620 maximum. Super silent right now. That is actually really good. I like that. I might actually keep these in here. And from the back side, here's what we see, including that mirror image that we see along the side. But what happens when we flip it the other way where we don't have the shiny front? And here's our fans reversed. Mind you, I have the logo upside down, but that's just to quickly show you this frame. Now, if I put the front case on, let's see how that looks. And here's how it looks with the front panel on. Using MSI's Mystic Light software, let's check out the effects. We are on rainbow. Let's go to flame. Now to meteor. Lightning. Right now we are on concert mode. Let's see what happens when I play music. I think it's going to work with music. And there we go. Let's go a little further in the song. And this is Color Ring. This is Planetary. And this is Planetary using the open RGB software. This is Energy. And this is Energy using the open RGB software. And this is Double Meteor using open RGB software. Now let's test fan noise. We're going to start at the highest RPM possible. This is at full fan speed at about 2000 RPM. This is the fan noise at 1500 RPM. This is the fan noise at about 1000 RPM. And this is PWM mode with one low noise adapter connected. As a quick side note, this product does not, does not include a low noise adapter. This is a proof of concept to show how silent these fans can get should you decide to add one to your setup. LTC cooling fans. Well, they're amazing value at only $40 USD. 
RGB, three pack, no hub needed. Simplicity is there and I love it. And thank you again, LTC for sending these. Amazing value, unbeatable for what you get. This is Eric of Sparky Tech. Leave your comments below. What are your thoughts and your experience? Mind you, I have not used these long term yet, so I don't know how it's going to last. But so far, my results are impressive for the price point. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and help this channel grow. And have yourselves a most wonderful day.